Alright, so I was going to uh, show you the moon set, which would be right about in the middle of the view there. However, it's virtually translucent right now, and the moon set is at 2.46 Eastern Standard Time. Right over there. Let me show you with this. Oh. I'm going to have to, I, I think I lost my broad, let's see. I hope you're still there. I've got to put my Do Not Disturb feature on here. Sorry about that. So what I've got going on here, I wanted to um, go ahead and show you the moon set. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'll be able to. We had a whole bunch of clouds roll in. Actually, not roll in. They were just being made right in front of me there. So, isn't that special? <laughs> so I'm going to cover some issues here pretty quick. And I think you'll be, I hope you like it. Okay, so it's right there where it would be setting. It is setting. Can't see it though. Um, do you know how much a gallon of water weighs? Well, it depends on temperature. Temperature changes density and volume of water. Um, this uh, friend sent sent this to me. I appreciate that. It's a uh, level. It looks like uh, now it's got a vacuum. It's got two layers. It's got a layer of glass, an inner and outer. So there's a actual vacuum. You've got to have a barrier, like the firmament, to have a actual vacuum. The vacuum of space, as NASA says. Yeah, the vacuum of space between the ears of a lot of people that are deceived. They don't know it. Uh, by irony and paradox, I don't know what I don't know yet. I keep searching, keep looking to find out more information to share with my friends and family. I showed a light beam. I want to show you something. I showed a light beam at 2 a.m. Uh, this past uh, morning. With this right here, you can see it. Okay, show that to you. Well, we can't see it now. The greater light that rules the day is right there. How about that? Gentle breeze, a little bit of movement, yet the wind chime hangs vertically. That's what it does. We can see it show up there, right? I was hoping to get a glimpse of the 51% moon. It was 51% at rise and set. Sometimes the variance is more than 10%. Where the sun and the moon appear and vanish on the horizon can't be explained by the globe lie. Moon came up over there last night and it's setting over here. Different times of the month Sometimes it'll come up way over there and set way over there. By the time winter gets here, the sun is going to set back in behind the houses there. Well, in the summer it was setting over there. I've got compass readings and I'm showing it. Um, yeah, it's all kind of interesting. Okay, so I'm taking us on in. Here's the uh, truth mobile. I want to show you something, if I can. Uh, the light's off. I'll just keep my fingers off the trigger. And I'm going to use the... Try and throw the reflection of it, if I can. There it is. There's the reflection of it. See, it's off. It's a reflector. Now, the sun and the moon give off their own light. Masculine for the sun, feminine for the moon. That's the biblical proclamation. Who would even think of saying that, making that up? Well, God calls it as he created it. Where in the world could a wind chime hang anywhere upside down in relationship to other wind chimes? Ah, there it is, right there. And I'll, uh, I'll be able to upload it when I get uh, when I get done with this you can see it it's translucent and 
There it is, right in the middle of the view with the P1000. That's about as much as I can show you. Perfect. Now you'll see why uh, a lot of times we can't see it. A few clouds will uh, do that. Alright, so right outside here I have a um, I have a globe in a water pool. I used to have it in the front yard. And right here I've got the uh, bubble level. The level will just stay right where it is. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't move. However, the reflection that you're looking at right there moves differently around the room depending on the season. So, I want to show you something. Oh, I got a, I've got a screen right there. How can, I, how can I move that? Same way I could move some kitties with the, uh, the Truth uh, wind machine. There you go. I can uh, activate the wind chimes too. A little bit. Can't see the wind can see the effects of the wind. Now this reflection is all different. Okay, what some of the real basic science would be, okay, the bubble doesn't move in the bubble level, much like the one that Eric Dubé had on his uh, video. I just liked and added to my liked video playlist. This is a reflector here. And so when I would be sitting in this chair right here, uh, depending on the season and the time of the day that uh, light bounces off of there and moves all around in the room. In fact, when there's no wind, it gets almost like perfectly clear, no movement, as I'm sure you can imagine. So the water exposes the impossibility of the globe. This water that the kitties drink out of fills its container, the surface of that water is flat and level. There would be no level anywhere. All of our interaction with water should indicate the uh, non-movement of the earth. All of it. Not just the water that covers the face of the ocean, all the water. That was just uh, bath water, highly purified, carbon filtered, uh, reverse osmosis water. A lot of plants in the house <clears throat> to generate oxygen. Sometimes I don't want the windows open. That's not moving. And then it'll get still. That was just water. Um, sometimes I'll add Epsom salt. Sometimes I'll add uh, baking soda. Sometimes I'll add borax. Boron is an element apparently to help deactivate uh, self-replicating nanobots. Yeah, did you know that? Did you know we've got self-replicating nanobots? Oh, Smeagol's not here. Smeagol. He's one of our kitties. Frank had a a lizard pinned down under the chair there. Dean saw him up in the plant here. Oh yeah, the lizards. Here's a couple more kitties. It's not all about the cat. Smeagol is, Smeagol, do you feel yourself spinning, wobbling, or gyrating? He looks pretty rock solid. Right, Dean? Oh yeah. So these are the jugs that I fill up. My system will generate about 70 gallons a day. When, the, uh, when this overflows, it'll go right into the washer and I'll use it to wash stuff, wash clothes. Reverse osmosis is the technology. The physics and property of water, while well, the surface of it is undisturbed, when it's undisturbed is flat and level. That's just the reality of it. So there you go. They know.
See, like this morning I did a video showing the um, the pelicans out at the ocean, uh, the people walking around enjoying the beauty and majesty of creation. I didn't say anything, just let you enjoy that. One of my lists called uh, Water Seeks Level has zero commentary for most of it. Now I can see the uh, sun much much, or the moon much better right there in the middle of the view. So what you could do is get the, I found that the Tides Near Me app is extremely accurate at uh, showing me when and where the sun and the moon appear and vanish and the duration of visibility. Uh, you can, if you want, uh, you can just go ahead and take a look at your clock, try and figure it out, remember it all. Artificial intelligence is powerful. I'm using it right now. We use it every day. We can circumvent some of the algorithms of playing hide-and-seek with the truth uh, by sharing. When I say uh, shared millions of times with my liked video playlist, I'm not kidding. I've got millions of occurrences out there. Thousands of people all around the world have shared my liked video playlists. Uh, because of what I've done and the fact that people love to hate... Some people love me, some people love to hate me. Oh, wow. I'm built for this. That's why I do it. That's who I am. I'm Robert Forsh, and I'm not afraid to live, die, or tell the truth. How about that? So one of the basic realities is the sun and the moon move different courses over the face of the stationary and level earth. Keep in mind there would be no level anywhere if the earth was moving. So I've got two recordings going on right now. Well, live broadcast and a recording, which will be a YouTube video. I'm going to zoom in on the moon again and show you that's about it for today. That's about all I'll be able to show you. I can almost see through it. I don't know what it's made of. Gives off its own light. It seems like the uh, sun charges it up, picks up energy. The uh, sun gives off a warm light. The moon gives off a cool light. That's the reality of it. I want to clean this lens a little bit. There's a high level of reality in my work, as best I can tell. And it's not just what I show and what I talk about. It's what I found and shared. What I'm doing is different than other people, of course. Who else is doing this? We've all got our own little call and our own way of doing what we do. I wanted to show the the reality of the simplicity of a wind chime and how that illustrates the non-movement of the earth. Okay, where in the world could a wind chime hang anywhere upside down in relationship to other wind chimes? The water undisturbed, when undisturbed, the surface is flat and level. That's how much of a variance there is on the grade of the uh, driveway. We can see it. So there you go. Thank you so much. This is Robert Forsh signing out. Feel free to reach out anytime. My phone number is 1-843-504-1776. If you want YouTube Truth stickers, you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to that mailbox right there at 169. Cloverleaf Drive, Longs, South Carolina, 29568. Thank you so much.